so glad you're here to join us for our annual Gatehouse Loves Local event. I'm Claire. I've been with Gatehouse for a little over 10 years now, and this is this is home for me. And we're so glad to have you guys here. Whether you're here in person or whether you're here joining us virtually, this is so fun. We're so excited to have you all here. This event is inspired by Lee Industries. You probably saw some of the videos rolling through as you got seated. Um, if you know us, you know Gatehouse loves Lee. And chances are, if you're sitting here in person, you are sitting on Lee Industries. Lee Industries is one of America's premier custom upholstery companies, and they have been making furniture the right way in North Carolina, in a small town in North Carolina, for a very long time. They are American made, they are environmentally friendly, and they are the examples of loving local. They've reached out to their local community, they gather everybody together, they support the local schools. I mean, they are a hometown company, and they have inspired many of us to do the same, and they've encouraged us to do the same, and that's where Lee Loves Local has turned into our Gatehouse Loves Local event, and we have been doing this now for eight years, and we absolutely love it. What started out as a small event has turned into a month-long event, and frankly, a part of our core purpose here at Gatehouse. We truly love local, and we love working with local companies and vendors to throw parties. We love supporting local to keep us caffeinated throughout the day, and we appreciate the local love that we get back from you lovely people who keep us in business and keep us doing the things that we love, and we are just so grateful to have you a part of this year's Loves Local event, which is going to be better than ever. It's going to be fun. So just to let you guys know, with Lee Loves Local, they are giving us a two-week sale for all custom upholstery. So all orders placed the 11th through the 25th will be 35% off. So if you've been thinking, and you've been thinking, don't think anymore. Come and talk to one of our designers. Check them out afterwards. Call our store to get the details. We want to help you create beautiful custom pieces that are just as unique as you. So make sure you shop that sale. You can get started tonight, but it does officially start 11th through the 25th. So don't miss that, 35% off. And a little bit about Gatehouse, because we do have a lot of new people here in person and online. Gatehouse has been in business for 25 years, and um, we love helping you love where you live. Um, and creating spaces that you feel happy in. We've all been spending a little bit more time in spaces, and we want to help you create one that you absolutely love. So thank you for joining us again. We have a lot of people involved in making this night possible, so bear with me as we go through. Each one of them deserves all the love here. First, we have Matt and Christy Hammer, who you're going to meet a little bit later. They are the Hammer Family, a new HGTV show that is airing tomorrow night, and we get to get all the behind the scenes with them tonight. We're so excited about that. We're also grateful for Alpha Lit. How cute are these light up letters? So fun. They came and set this up for us, and it just, it's like party, party time right behind me. It's actually, I can like feel the heat. It's doing its job. It's doing its job. Also, Parp. Pop Park City did this amazing balloon arch that we're just dying over. I don't think we can take it down. It's going to have to stay up, maybe till Christmas. I don't know, until we have to put up some Christmas decor, because I love it so much. And then, as always, we have our lovely Rebecca Westover. Rebecca, right in the back. Guys, Rebecca has been with Gatehouse for so long. She is the beauty behind all of the gorgeous images that you see us post on Instagram. She photographs our homes for us, our clients' homes, our store, our product on our website. She's amazing, so we're so grateful to have her here. We also have Ashley of Living Beautifully. That's Utah, like Utah-fully. And she is going to share some really tasty treats with us in just a second. We have Rachel Folkman, a longtime Gatehouse OG, who has come back tonight to share some special floral design with us that we're looking forward to. We have BW Productions. They are the audiovisual company who is helping us get this online to so many more people than could make it tonight, and we are so grateful for them. And then we have Provo Bakery, a little treat for everybody here in person tonight, some Provo Bakery donuts, a local classic, right? And we're also so grateful for Type Affiliated, Haley Berry, who has designed all of our Loves Local 
logos. She's a hand letter located in Provo. If you've seen any cool murals, she probably made them. She's absolutely talented, and we are so grateful to work with her. And then just a few things that I wanted you guys to note before we really get the party started. We have so many more opportunities to love local beyond just tonight. So follow us on Instagram. I'm assuming you do, but if you don't, pull out your phones right now. It's Gatehouse 101. We have a really awesome giveaway coming up. It's our local love giveaway, and it is big. It's over $1,200 worth of goodies. It includes a $200 Gatehouse gift card, a $100 Shop Stevie gift card, the Wick Lab, a $25 gift card where you go and make your own candle. I just did this last week. It is so fun. Kate Creation Studio, $50 gift card, Altitude Blow Dry Bar, three blowouts, for $105 or $105 gift card, Alpha Lit. So if you're like ready to throw your own party at your home and you want to make it extra poppy, we've got them. Park Park City is going to do their balloon arch. We have Chantel Nicole Jewelry, a $35 pair of earrings. It's a total value over $1,200. It's going to be awesome. Check it out on Instagram. We'll be posting it in just a few days. And make sure you spread the love of all these local businesses that are helping um, spread this community effort here. Also, we are on Good Things Utah two times a month. If you don't tune into Good Things Utah, I don't know if our non-locals can get this, but you're missing out. It's a treasure. We absolutely love it. Every second and thir fourth uh, Thursday on Good Things Utah, we do a little segment, whether we're helping you with design tips or sharing the local love. Just this last few weeks, we shared Pete from The Mighty Baker. If you guys don't know Pete, he's a local award-winning, like national award-winning local resident who bakes the most amazing cakes, opened up Cake Creation Studio in River, uh, Riverside, Riverwoods. Thank you, Riverwoods Mall. Absolutely amazing. He's got these great cake decorating kits that you can take home for Valentine's Day absolutely check him out. And we'll be featuring a whole lot of other local businesses throughout the rest of the year. So this doesn't end tonight. This doesn't end this week. This is a year-long effort because we truly love local. Okay, all of that said, you guys ready to party? We've got a lovely lineup tonight. I'm so excited. First off, we have the lovely Ashley. Ashley, come on out here. Guys, give Ashley a hand. Ashley is such a treat. She's just as sweet as her treats. She's going to share some really fun tips um, in her great southern accent because she's just the best. And I'm super excited. And I might have had a nibble while this was sitting there over is, there. There's plenty. Okay. I'm so around. glad. That's Take it for away, sure. Ashley. Hey, y'all. How are y'all doing? I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume everyone is smiling and happy underneath all these fun masks, right? Um, so I just kind of want to share a little bit about what I got going on on this table. You know, if any of y'all, unless you've been hiding under a rock this year, you may or may not have heard of a charcuterie board. Maybe some of you have made charcuterie boards. And you know, it seems like if you've seen one, you've seen them all. So I wanted to make a little bit different of a thing, and I wanted to make a chalk Cooterie board, get the pun, chalk, all chocolate themed. And um, so let's start with the foundation. So I'm not, I'm not going to batter up here, but the foundation of any good charcuterie or chalk cooterie or any dessert board is the actual board itself. The thing I love about Gatehouse is they have so many unique pieces, some in which I have personally used. I have this one as well as this one. I've had them for years. And the great thing that I love about these boards is not only that you can display it um, in a way that you could do charcuterie or charcuterie. Um, I have put my cakes on these. I have put cupcakes. I've done a pie display on these. And the best part about it is when you're done hosting entertaining or serving on your board, you can use it as decor and you can layer it in your home. So I absolutely love to start with a good foundation. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so the next thing I want to talk about is how to assemble something like this. 
So you want to pick a theme. So like I said, it's all about the chocolate. We're entering Valentine's Day, so I thought it would be really fun if we had all sorts of different chocolate elements, but then also brought in the colors pink and red and white. And so it's always good to start when, when, especially if you have a really nice board, whether it's wood or marble or something that's maybe soft. Have you ever put something on a board and it's left that ring or it's left a mark? I have uh, learned from my mistakes. And so what I always love to do and what I've done with these boards here, always put parchment down on your board. If you don't have parchment, you can use wax paper, foil, something to protect the board. I've definitely ruined a lot of boards that way. So that's sort of the first things first uh, with, with your board. Then I love to put different sorts of bowls. You could even put pedestals for different heights on your board. But for Valentine's Day, to make it a little bit special, I did these heart-shaped bowls here. And what you want to do is you want to put these on first. So you put your paper on, then you put your bowls. These um, are just like little cardboard hearts that are almost acting like little bowls. And you want to put those on first to kind of set the scene. Then what you want to do is you want to work from the outside in. So I like to almost, if you, if you don't have a board or a tray that has sort of a lip around it, you can create that lip with your heavier and bigger items from the outside working the way, working inward. So I have these big chocolate covered brownies. I have cupcakes that I jazzed up with a chocolate covered strawberry. I have these little tru uh, chocolate truffles here and then Rice Krispie Treats and going all around the board. And one of the things that you, is really good to do with your boards is to create movement. I don't know if you've ever seen some of those charcuterie boards that it almost looks like a river of food running down the board or around the board. So movement and texture and color is key when creating these boards. So once you sort of have your dishes on your board and your rim in place, then you can start going inward with your smaller things. One of the things I also want to add is with these bowls, I like to put the smaller pieces in the bowls versus trying to put them um, in groups. You can, put the, you can put the larger ones around the edge and then the smaller pieces in the bowls. And then with your really small pieces, like I have these um, little bitty uh, Reese's peanut butter cups, then you can fill those in on the bottom and fill in all of those gaps. And then, like with a, cho with a charcuterie board, I literally just have bars of chocolate. You can just stack them and layer them and tuck them in. And then to add pops of color and interest, I did chocolate-covered strawberries. And then I also wanted to do fresh strawberries. I love to cut things in half um, to kind of show the inside. So whether it's cutting the strawberry in half or you could cut a truffle in half to kind of give a little bit more interest to the board. And so it's just good to play with your flavors. I have all sorts of things uh, from expensive chocolates. These, these are like uh, wine infused chocolates. I have some Godiva chocolates on here. I have some lint chocolates. But then I also have Reese's peanut butter cups, Hershey's. Um, I made some of these baked items, but then you can also buy uh, you know, some of the baked items and you don't have to make it a fuss. I think that though that is what I love most about doing something like this. This is such a great conversation piece, whether you're having just a few friends over for maybe to celebrate Valentine's Day or your sisters or just you and your husband. It's something that's so fun and special and it makes a huge impact. And as long as you have the right foundation, the rest is all fun. So hope you enjoy. so much. This is amazing and beautiful. You guys are going to have to come up and walk and see it in person afterwards. And I love what you said about, it's about the presentation, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Reese's Pieces are going to look better in a cute bowl. Yes, and they do. I'm a store-bought cookies on a really beautiful plate kind of gal. <laughs> so I love this. Thank you so much, You're guys. Welcome. Let's give it up for Ashley. Thank you. Make sure to check her out on Instagram, <laughs> yes, Living Beautifully.
really cute, amazing baked goods. Okay, Taylor, okay. we have some giveaways. We That's what I hear. Yes, we have some fun giveaways that we're going to be doing tonight. We're going to do one in store as well as for our viewers online. So we'll be reaching out to our viewers online to get their information. But we wanted to kind of talk about some of these fun giveaways. Um, Gentry has the one right here, all wrapped up so cute for our in-store winners. And here's what's inside of it. You mind holding it? Good, great. Okay. Can you guys hear me okay? Sorry, I'll try to be loud, but I don't want to yell at you guys. Hi, I'm Taylor, by the way. Nice to meet you guys. So in this giveaway we have, we have these really cute boxwood orbs. They're so cute and so fun. We put it in this vase. Look how real that looks. Isn't that so oh, fun? Cute. One of the things we love to do is always add in just a little touch of green into a vase. You could add multiples of these into a bigger bowl or just a single one in this. Um, another fun thing you've always got to have is your favorite candle. This one is Baltic Amber. It smells so good and it just looks so pretty in this beautiful copper tin. And then it has the three wicks in there. So fun. Can you smell that? Smells so good. Oh my gosh. Scratching so sniff. fun. Sorry, it doesn't exist. <laughs> right? Sniff Sorry technology. online everybody, but so good. <laughs> and lastly, we have some fun beads because we love to have fun layers that you can put one on top of the other. Can you guys all see those okay? Beautiful glass beads that can go and layer in. This is a great kind of coffee table starter kit or for any type of display on a console. There's so many great ways you can use all of these products. So let's go ahead and announce our giveaway winners. Perfect time for spring sprucing. Okay, who is our in person? In -person is Kristen Mc McQuivy? Kristen? <laughs> Come on up, Kristen. And then our online, our virtual winner is Janet Miller. Janet Miller will get in contact with you. Congratulations. Everything Taylor just shared is available on our online store. It's shop.gatehousestyle.com. We are so excited about this shop. We have been dreaming about offering an online shop for a long time, and we're so excited that we can now do that for our out-of-state lovers and our local lovers if you just want it delivered to your home. But everything is available online and in store. And I am so excited to introduce our next guests today, but we have a little short minute video that's going to give us a little bit more information about them. So take it away, video. There's plenty to love about the good old days, but the houses from back then simply don't work for modern families. Everybody knows these homes. They've been around for decades. So retro. And they've seen plenty of wear and tear. Are these the original appliances? That is a classic. But they've never been updated. Look at this stacked brick. Because homeowners are just overwhelmed by how much work they need. It's not working. Let's get rid of it. But that's the kind of challenge we love. Oh my gosh! We're the Hammers, a blended family with five kids, and we juggle a lot. My design plan is really coming together. But we live up to our name. Oh, good, good, job. Job. Good, job. good job, babe! We help people envision their impossible dated home in a whole new way. Here's your new kitchen. Oh my gosh! Taking them out of the past and into the wow. All it takes is a couple of Hammers. Crazy. make it feel like really oh, so real fun. this is happening yes we are so excited everyone this is matt and christy hammer and as you can see they are the stars of a new hgtv show called the family hammer yep. yay <laughs> <laughs> we're so excited to have you guys here we're so, happy to be here yeah very fun to have you here in the store too and your premiere is tomorrow tomorrow night tomorrow so yes. this is big um, I know we're all so excited to hear a lot more about this and get some insights too, right? Um, okay, so first of all, probably the number one question that everyone wants to know is, how did this come about for you? So two years ago, I had a producer reach out to me on Instagram, just on my little design page and say, hey, would you ever be interested in having an HGTV show? And I was like, oh my gosh, this is a total joke. <laughs> I screenshot it, I sent it to Matt, and I was like, look at this spam. He's like, no, this is amazing. <laughs> you have to message back. So I did, and just assumed that they maybe had, like, they needed a house we renovated um, for an episode of House Hunters or something that was already an established show. 
And it turned out that they were looking for a family in Utah to start a new show. And they don't typically take in um, reels that people send. They have scouts that, that look. And they're usually um, looking for people that have a smaller business so that they can grow with them instead of, you know, a company that's already booming and trying to put in the filming with that is sort of complicated. So they like to find what they call breakthrough characters, which essentially means like they're nobodies. <laughs> <laughs> so well, uh, that anyway, that's what they that did. That was two and years ago. Yeah. So it's been a two year process just to get to this yeah. point now. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. And so great that you thought this could be real. Let's oh, <laughs> I, I immediately thought it was the real deal. And then we got on a FaceTime a couple days later with, with this producer, and five minutes in, he's like, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to have a TV show. <laughs> that is so, awesome. Great. Yeah. Well, how fun. Um, and then that kind of brings us to how we met. So you get to that point, and yeah. luckily we had an amazing mutual friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. connected us, and that gave us the opportunity at Gatehouse to provide the furniture and accessories for you oh guys. My gosh. So we can't wait to see the reveal. It's, yeah. it's going to blow all of your minds. <laughs> And the furniture and everything is, it looks so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. We were so grateful to Stephanie. So great. It's awesome. So um, how long did it take to really put that together? The house, like start to finish? Well, when we started filming, like demo to reveal was 10 weeks. Um, but there was a lot of planning, months of planning that went into getting to that point even, so. To make that happen, yeah. exactly. Yes. I, mean, that's, yes. I mean, that's like a sprint. Oh, yeah. If it anyone's is. remodeled even, or just painted a room. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That ten might weeks, take 10 weeks. 10 yeah. weeks to do. It was a full-scale remodel full scale in remodel. 10 weeks, so yeah. it was it was fast and challenging for sure. It, it yeah. definitely so was. And we were supposed to film March 30th. Everyone knows what happened, March 30th. <laughs> so that was, that put a huge kink in the production. The family was so great. They. You know, the producers kept saying, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, every two weeks until finally. Four months later. Four months yeah. later, we were able to get production up and rolling, and yeah. it was awesome. Right, yeah. and that's yeah. kind of a small miracle as yes. well, right? Yes. Just with the way things <laughs> yes. were going. Yeah. We yeah, all know how sure. hard it is to pull something like that off yeah. Yeah. normally. Yeah. And then this year, yeah. kind of yeah. next level. Yeah. So great. Um, I'm sure it was very stressful at times in 10 weeks trying to make all mm -hmm. that happen. So mm -hmm. give us a little bit of like some juicy stories of what happened. Oh, it was so stressful. <laughs> <laughs> There's um, a lot of moving parts. Yeah, you, a film day, a typical film day uh, is about 12 hours. So there's very little time for us to manage the construction. So, you know, that in and of itself was very stressful. And but we still have to manage it. Yes, we still have to manage it. <laughs> There's yeah. no time, but we There's still no have to manage it. There's no time. There's no time, but we have to find it. And one particular thing, it was the day before the reveal. And um, Stephanie and Gatehouse had come in, and they were helping me, and we were putting everything together. And the producers were from out of town. They came in. They were blown away. And I was out with my mom picking the kids up from school or something. And I get a call from my producer, and she's like, we can't use any artwork. And I was like, I mean, if anyone has ever designed anything ever, <laughs> art is so essential to the whole tone and feel. And it was so frustrating. She said, oh, I, I'll go get you some canvas, and you can whip some stuff together. <laughs> yeah, we can just, just paint tonight. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's totally not happening. So... Um, luckily I knew some local photographers and I was able to get that all figured out, but it was one of those things that you're not prepared for and you sort of just have to think on, you know, yeah. just right. on a whim, like what on earth can I do? And that sucked up several hours of my <laughs> just emotional well-being. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we have to keep a schedule. So they have a film schedule mapped out from the get go and we have to be at a certain uh, spot in construction by the time they're ready to film it. So that alone is very, very stressful. Because right. in a remodel, things go wrong all the time. Mm -hmm. You tear down a wall and you find out something that delays you a couple days. So the schedule was oh. a huge challenge. Yeah, it was. I think it was like 10 days before reveal and I was like, there is easily three months of work left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we pulled it off. It's amazing that it all comes together like yeah. that. So it really is pretty real when you see Oh, very real. The you know, when the, with the reveal, and I'm sure sometimes people yeah. ask that, like, 
okay, how much of that is scripted or? It's, it's not, not scripted. Not scripted. <laughs> it's very real. They turn on the camera and they say, okay, go. And the client is real, it's real money, it's their budget, and um, it's a real timeline. And yeah, it's very, it's not scripted. Not it's scripted. very, very real. Yes, it's very real. So yeah. exciting. I yeah. cannot wait to see it. It's yeah. going to be awesome. Um, and that brings me to, so this is here in Orem, Utah, or is that where the, the house, house is? The house is in Provo. Provo? Yeah, up by Timpview High School in, in Provo. Yeah. Okay. But we will, once we get the series, I'm saying that, like, I'm throwing it out there. Once we get <laughs> the series. Vibes. We need you to watch, but once we get the series, um, we will predominantly be in Utah County if there's an ultra special house in Sugar House or something. <laughs> We'll go up there, but it's it's hard to manage uh, for the film crew because they have to be at so many houses in every day of the week. Right. So it's hard to go to Sugar House and Salem and you so know. the closer in proximity yeah. the houses yeah. are, the easier yeah. it is. Yeah, we will only have we'll only have about six months to do the last twelve houses. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> can you even imagine? That's a real <laughs> that's a real timeline. Yeah. So <laughs> all of our designers here are like. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. so hard. I can't even. <laughs> it's going to take an army for yeah. us to. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, one of the great things is what a great thing this would be for Utah to oh, for sure. have this happen here and for the neighborhoods of Utah. Mm-hmm. That's one of the things that was appealing, right, to your, the producers in the oh. show was the oh. type of houses that you guys specialize yeah. in. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, they had originally reached out to us, you know, on Instagram, and Matt and I had remodeled our own split level and. Um, fun fact, Utah has more split levels and split entry <laughs> homes than any other state in the U.S. So that was our original, like, oh, let's reach out to this couple. They remodeled one. It looks awesome. Um, they, you know, yeah, everybody kind of knows crazy. somebody that has a split entry yeah. or 60s, 70s, 80s outdated home. Everybody yeah. does. And so um, I think that, I mean, even for this one episode from a local perspective, uh, we used uh, flooring liquidators just right down the street here. We used wholesale windows and doors for our windows. We used gatehouse for the staging. We used um, local contractors. Yeah, it was all a, a very guys. local yeah. um, a, a project, which was very exciting for us because as the series picks up and we do 12 homes in six months, it's going to be a great opportunity for local businesses to really grow with us. And it could just be an awesome opportunity for, for Utah. The production company that's helping us is the same production company that did Fixer Upper, uh, that does Good Bones on HGTV, that does Restored by the Ford. So a lot of the big HGTV shows run through this production company. So it could just be a huge opportunity for Utah. And we're really excited about that. Yeah, they talk often about Waco. And I don't know if any of you have been there. It's pretty cool now, but before they... <laughs> It was not cool. <laughs> so, you know, they're hoping, and, and Provo is, and Utah County is so unique in that it is already so spectacular, and the landscape is beautiful. I mean, you mm-hmm. saw some of the shots. Um, that's a really fun part, but they said watching Waco blossom was such a cool experience on their end, and, you know, just helping local communities and artists and people. It's awesome. I We have some people that are just getting started, and when we say, oh, we'd love to feature you in the show, it's like, it, it's everything to them. Mm-hmm. So that's a really fun thing for Matt and I, and you know, Stephanie that's did so that great. for us, and we were like, oh, gosh, Stephanie. <laughs> so that, you know, it's great to just be able to get back like that. And It I really like is, that. it's so fulfilling, and what an amazing, like I said, opportunity for Utah to have something like that, so we yeah. all need to help them out <laughs> um, big time. And the way that they can help is how, tell us. Watching the episode tomorrow. So in Utah, if you have, um, here's some details about it. (laughs) If you have Comcast, Dish, or Sling TV, it's actually airing at 7 p.m. It's a prime prime time spot, yeah. 7 a.m. nine. Uh, Some of the streaming services like YouTube, TV, and other ones are only airing it at 10 p.m. No matter what, just go to your DVR, uh, find it, record it, watch it live if you can. If you can't watch it live, then watch it within 24 hours and it counts as a view and we just need as many views as possible. Exactly, yeah. so please you guys, everyone, tell your friends, put it on your social media, like just spread the word and make sure you set your VCR, or VCR. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You never know, you never know, you never know. Uh-huh. So if you have a 60s home, maybe yeah. you still have a VCR. Yeah, right, that's a VCR. Keeping it very 
Cherry period. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much, you guys. Uh, we have like a really quick game because we want to get to Let's know the hammers yes, just so a little bit more, right? Yes. What's the name of it? Oh, it's called the Family Hammer. Yeah. The Family Hammer. hammer. So you can search it, record it, yeah. watch it, and it has to be within 24 hours. Yeah. They get the ratings in a day. Mm -hmm. So crazy times. Everyone, yeah. like, help us out. We can do this. We have this many people here. We have however many people have joined us online virtually. Everyone, this is a national thing. So wherever you are, join us and yeah. let's create this awesome movement and yes. bring the hammer, the family hammer, yes. to yes. HDTV. Yes. 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 Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So. What they're going to do is they each have a sign, one's Matt and one's Chrissy, and we'll okay. see how many they get right. <laughs> All right? <laughs> how long so have you guys been married This now? is going to be fun. Uh, ten years? Almost ten years. Almost yeah. ten years. Yeah. Kay. We're blended. And so how many kids between you? Five. <laughs> it was like five. Five. Yeah. Yes. Five kids. He has two from his previous marriage, and I have one from my previous marriage, and then we have two babies together. So great. So and fun. we're so excited to see them on the show. Yes, right? oh, they're so cute. They yes. make a debut, yes. Uh, Lucy, so our, our youngest, is just, she steals everyone's heart. So yeah. once you won't even care about us after you just see her. Just at least watch <laughs> it to see her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. Okay, ready? Yes. Here we go. This will be right. fast. Okay. Who is the brains behind the Hammer family? Brains. Okay. Brains, honey. Oh. It's the brains. <laughs> Whatever so comes to your mind first. I know. He's I feel like I'm going to get in trouble. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Smart. He's a, he is the brains. Now uh, we know. Right? 100% Matt I'm Hammer the is the brains. Okay. Yes. And, and who is the brawn? Uh, Matt, Matt Hammer. Matt. <laughs> Matt's the brawn. Uh, <laughs> who is messier? Him, Which of you are the better? Wait, cook? you said I'm messier. <laughs> you're, you're, you're better at cleaning, but oh you're my gosh, you are so much messier. So I don't much know messier. About that. She, it's so a she tie. She it's a tie. It up, but in the meantime, <laughs> yeah. I mean, have you seen Who's the bathroom the lately? Cook? Or who cooks more? Let's do that. Who cooks more? That's like this. Yeah. Okay. That's like this. He is handsome and he cooks. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's 50-50. It taken, really is. He's taken, but he does do those things. Yeah. <laughs> who takes the most time to get ready? That's, it's like this. Honey, you take so long. Last but, night you said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the bathroom. And I was like, so I'll see you in 45 minutes to an hour? Yeah, I'm saying it's... it's no. I, am, I take some time. No. And for most times, I just throw my hair up in a messy bun and I'm out the, the door. The shaved head, the bald head cut some time I mean, now. He just, he's very serious about his manscaping. <laughs> okay, That's so. good. That's good. We it's like important. it. We love it. Yeah. Um, who's the biggest dreamer? <laughs> nice. So fun. And this is so great. I'm sure a huge dream come true. Oh, this so show. Yeah. Um, who's the most focused on the details? Yeah. So here. Best okay. dancer. Best dance moves. Oh. Uh, has killer How do I have better dance moves? I yeah. have terrible dance moves. I'm just not afraid to sh show them. Yeah. I shouldn't which say is, that Which is almost better than like an ultra coordinated dancer. Right. You're still, right. you're still, a, you're, you have better moves. He's very footloose on yeah. the dance floor. It's very fun. <laughs> and I can tell the teamwork here, get you both out there together. Yeah. And oh, it's, yes. It's crazy. Yes. Very good time, good time on the dance floor. Good <laughs> could, it, could anyone tell, like, who got the most correct answers or? No. I did. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, you guys. It's been so fun having you here, oh, and we look forward to doing so many us. more projects together in the yes. future. Yes. yes. So let's hear it for the Hammers. Thank you, Dan House. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I think now we have more giveaways, right, Claire? Yes. All right. We love the giveaways. We yes. do. We have more giveaways All right. online here and in come, person. Come. Hey, the Hammers are just so great. Do they need a sixth kid? <laughs> Don't tell my mom. Okay, Taylor, tell us about these gorgeous pillows. Okay, sorry, I keep forgetting I need this. Okay, everyone, we're gonna give away this pillow. So this is actually from Lee Industries. It's one of our favorite fabrics. It's a beautiful, just navy, neutral, can go in any home. One of the great things about Lee Industries pillows, they're also customizable, and that's part of the sale is on all custom order pillows, you do get that sale pricing. So it's a really great time to order them. We love that you can do everything from the trim on the top to the color. You can even add 
multiple like customizations to these pillows. So we're gonna be giving this away. It is also available in this exact same way online as well. But we just love that they have that great down fill. They're so comfy and can go in any home at any time. Absolutely gorgeous. Jocelyn, do you have our winners for us? Okay, our online winner is, in-person winner is Ginger Monk. Ginger, come on up. Beautiful. And our virtual winner is Ann Leatherby. Ann Leatherby. We'll contact you, Ann. So great. Thank you so much, Taylor. Those pillows are absolutely gorgeous. Take advantage of that sale again, the 11th through the 25th, 35% off all custom upholstery orders with Lee Industries. I am so excited to introduce our final guest of the night, Rachel Folkman. Rach, come on out here. Rach and I have been working together at Gatehouse for years and years and years, and I can't imagine Gatehouse without her. She has thrown so many parties so many events, and designed so many beautiful homes. And we are so lucky to have her back visiting tonight to give us a demonstration on, are these for real? Like faux real? Because they, this is real rose, right? Oh, that was a good one. No, but it's not real. I swear that wasn't scripted. It just looks that real. We're going to have to get some close-ups with the camera because these roses are gorgeous. Rachel knows her stuff. She's going to show us tips and tricks on how to create beautiful faux arrangements that never die if you have a black thumb like me instead of a green thumb. So, Rachel, take it away. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Um, so today we're gonna talk about floor arrangements and I'm sure all of you are just so ready after Christmas, your home's looking a little drab. So it's time to bring in some bright florals that are fun and exciting and also add a pop of color. So one of Gatehouse's favorite picks is this eucalyptus pick. We kind of use it all year round and it is so beautiful because it's so realistic and really if you get up close you can see all the details to it one of my favorite things to do is to add to a console or a side table or even in a kitchen just a simple vase like this and then you just add a bunch of the same pick and you can just i should have taught this fold over the little bottom so they come like this the best thing is they come wired so you can just fold it over and then add it to the vase after you've fluffed all the leaves out so it looks more realistic. And then add it in. And you have this perfect, beautiful vase that works all year round. And then one of the other things that they found at market this year was one of the big trends is florals and fruit and citrus fruit and they have the cutest fruit picks you guys i'm going crazy over them like when i walked in the other day i just wanted them all probably gonna buy them all <laughs> so they have these awesome florals i love them i actually love the color because it's a very muted tone and muted is very in goes in any home and it just adds a soft pink and so ali's holding it right here and she just folded it over same way and added it to this darling vase. And this is the perfect size vase to add to on top of coffee table books or just on a little side table or those little nooks in your kitchen or the shelves that are so popular in your kitchen. This would be the cutest little thing to add. And then when seasons change, you can always come in and get different picks to add to it and just store them in a little container and then pull them out every season. Okay. Blush is a neutral in our book it. here so at Gatehouse. Claire anyway. and I are all when about in the blush. doubt, so is Ali. It's a, it's a neutral. We love it. And one of the great things about Gatehouse is they don't just order these online. They go in person to market and they look at all the florals and try to find the most realistic florals there are. And they're such a great price. And one of the trends right now is really big arrangements. Just huge arrangements. And they have the most awesome picks. And you guys are really lucky, those of you who are here today, get to pick them out in person. But everyone who's not here today gets to pick them out online and everything that i'm showing here today is online so you can find these gorgeous picks these are one of my all-time favorites i feel like they're year-round they're huge i actually i'll pull one out Here's the art. they're really tall so if you want one of those huge arrangements like on a kitchen counter or in your front entry this is a great pick to select. 
for this arrangement, because this pot is shorter, I looked at the length of it, and then I just kind of folded it over. And I added it into the pot. So I'm not going to add it in here, but I'll show you. So you start with your base of greens when you start a floral arrangement. And then I started with kind of a more whimsy pick, which is, Allie, do you want to pull this mm -hmm. cherry blossom, apple blossom up? So this is another great one, same look. You can do it in a full pot just on itself. It's stunning in arrangement, it's gorgeous. Normally we do odd numbers and I love a good odd number, but because this is so, has so many sticks to it, I feel like this is good just having the two on its own. <laughs> and then these, like Claire was saying, I mean, hi, this looks real. They like, they feel real. They feel real. There's they veins in the petals. I mean, yeah. I was, it's cool. like, and I'm right so here. So pretty. So we have two here, and then we have two here, and I want an odd number of them. So I'm going to add, just kind of back here, a third one. And I'm just going to bend this really small and kind of put it down in here. And the best thing about faux florals is you get to manipulate them so that they do exactly what you want. So you don't have to worry about a fresh floral. And just that. And then we love a color pop. Because it's summer, we want a little bright color, so we just want to add cute little peonies. So these ones are one of our favorites. And I'll just add one right here. I'm amazed, Rach, too, that this is like a 360. I, yeah. get, I get a little intimidated when it's like my Christmas tree has one good side, you know what I mean? I mean, we but all have one is, good side, right? We all have one good side. There is a good but side this the has side. all good sides, and I'm just so impressed. And I think your key of using odd numbers is helping balance that out so beautifully. I agree, and that's kind of what. And remember, you can manipulate this as much as you want. Then I like finishing it off with just these tiny little florals. They're cute. They're white. They're perfect for spring. And I'll just add one right here in the middle. And then you have it. You have a perfect little spring floral. Oh, and Rachel, how did you just do that? That is beautiful. But you guys can do it too. We just have to follow her instructions. That was pretty simple. Easy. I think I can do it. Um, guys, these florals, they're on sale yeah. for you tonight and tomorrow. A special discount just for our in-person and online attendees tonight. You can shop all of our florals, all of our greens, 20% off with GH Loves Local. I'm going to say it one more time for our online attendees. GH Loves Local. It will get you 20% off all greens and florals tonight and tomorrow. And it's going to be great. Don't wait. My phrase when it's Christmas time, and I think it's going to be the same for get two more. Like, you would hate to run out when you just need that extra pop. Get two more. You can always tuck it in somewhere else. Um, beautiful. Shop the sale. And, guys, let's give it up for Rachel. Thanks, guys. So beautiful. We have a giveaway to do. We have a giveaway. How many of you guys would love to have this beautiful <laughs> arrangement <laughs> in your home? Okay, we have one lucky winner and online as well, yeah, right? Yeah, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. So we do have um, this giveaway that we're doing of this pre-made arrangement that Rachel just did. It's beautiful. Again, all of this is available in our online shop. And like Claire said, with that discount code, take advantage because our florals go so fast. They're so fun and beautiful, but they fly out the door. We're also doing this giveaway online, so we will, again, ask for your address and all of that will get in contact with you but you'll be getting everything there the vase the florals the base and then you can assemble it yourself and be sure to tag us in your instagram and show us that you got it we love to see that and we love to see everybody else's floral creations here be sure to tag us on instagram and really show us all the fun things that you guys are doing with our florals and all the fun accessories so let's go ahead and announce those giveaway winners wonderful okay jocelyn our in person is this our in person mm -hmm. suzanne gallup <laughs> suzanne <laughs> Woohoo! Do you already know where you're going to put it? Uh, no. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Congratulations. 
Oh, absolutely stunning. Congratulations. And our online virtual winner today is Megan Seri? Sevi. Sevi. Megan Sevi, let's give it up. Guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. A few more reminders. We have that amazing local love giveaway that's coming up next week. Check it out. It will be posted around the 16th. Tons of amazing prizes. Please shop our sale, the florals and greens. They really do fly off the shelf. And you guys get to shop at Exclusive before anyone else. Um, so stock up on those tonight. The code again is GH Loves Local. Even you in person, you can shop online. So if you go home and you're like, oh no, I needed two more. I should have listened to Claire. Get two more. Then you can go home and get two more before they run out. Um, another reminder, our uh, Lee Industries custom upholstery event goes on the 11th through the 25th. It's the best time to buy custom upholstery furniture. And another thanks to all of our amazing people who helped put on this beautiful night. We are so grateful and we're so glad that we can join you. We hope you feel inspired to love and to love local and to love big. We'll see you next time. Thanks. This February came Don't want to throw it all away I shattered moments fall in vain You pick the pieces up and